Hey everybody, my name is Faz Kareem and I'm with Learn It and I want to welcome everyone to a quick little video on an application I've discovered called Melon. Now Melon is actually a live streaming platform and it's actually a lot different than the rest of them. It's actually quite easy to set up and use. There isn't too much of a setup to be honest. You can actually go live and start streaming within five clicks. And the cool thing is there's no application to actually install. It's a web-based application and you don't even need to create a new account. You can use one of your pre-existing Facebook accounts, YouTube accounts, or even Twitch. Now the cool thing about Melon is it allows us to do multi-streams. You can go live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch simultaneously. And it's cloud-based. We handle all the processing on the servers and your machine saves a bunch of resources. Now a few highlighting points I want to mention about Melon here is you can host private meetings and the video quality is 1080p HD streams. Now just like all other meeting tools you have real-time chat from all the platforms and we have the ability to share our screen scheduled streams, and even record offline and online. Now it's actually quite simple to set up Melon. I do have a setup checklist here in the PowerPoint, but all we have to do is just make sure that we have a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitch account, and to own a computer with an internet connection. Now once you go on to the melonapp.com and log in, it's going to ask you for the very first time to connect and allow them to use your microphone and camera. And you can get started with some live streams. Now in this session, I just want to give a quick little tour of how easy it is to actually start going live and connecting your accounts and using Melon. So I spent a little bit of time and I opened up my browser here and I head over to a website called melonapp.com. And I've already signed into my profile here, but let me go ahead and open up the Melon Studio so that I can start my live streams. Now when you do launch the Melon Studio, it's gonna start by asking you to enable your webcam and microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. If this is your very first time doing it, you might get a message from your browser asking you to allow your microphone in the upper left hand side. Uh, make sure to accept that. You do want to connect the microphone and the, the video camera to the live stream. So now it's asking us to show and hide yourself or a guest on the stream. So we can add ourselves by hovering over to the camera feed and clicking to show on the stream, kind of like how the screenshot shows here. And if we have any guests, on our show, on our stream, we can click on the stream and we can add them the same way we added ourselves. Now the cool thing is, is right down there on the bottom, if we wanted to customize our broadcast a bit, we can customize it with the logo, a banner, an animated ticker of some sort, or even just a background that we like. Now, once we are ready and we've set up the studio session, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go live. It's not currently live yet, but let me finish the onboarding here. Alrighty. So, before you do get your studio session running, it's very important to know that when you go over to your profile and you access your settings here, they have to actually connect your platforms that you would like to be streaming to. So if you want to connect to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch, or these other custom ones even that we'd have, you'd have to connect them and then go back to your studio session. Now I'm over here in Melon and I'm in my studio session. I'm currently not on the actual stream, but I can quickly show myself on the screen with the click of a button. Now, if I do need to remove myself, just like the tooltip is saying here, I can click on hide on stream and I can go back a bit. 
Let me do that for a quick second. Hold your horses there. Quick tip number three is saying to go live. Now, I've already set up my platforms, and I can go live on YouTube, but I'm not ready yet. I've actually made a couple customizations to my stream that I want to talk about. So before going live, I want to talk about our settings here. Because we have a lot of customizations for the actual screen. Let me go ahead and hit edit screen here. Because for the settings that we have, of course, we can customize our name. Let me go ahead and put my name in there. But we can also toggle on 1080p. And if we want, we can also enable the recording. Now I'm going to choose to show participant names inside of my stream and the audio status. And if someone is speaking, I want to know who's speaking as well. So a quick little indicator for who's speaking. Just set up my basic settings, but for my actual stream itself, I can customize the actual logo. As you can see, I've added my Learn It logo or any logo that you want to add from your computer. You can update the banner with your own title there and font and color. You can even customize the background. Now, sometimes instead of doing a background, what you can do instead is add a video. Now, a video that would just play for the video for the actual streaming starts. They have some built-in ones. There is audio behind each one of these videos, but it's nice that we can add our own video. Maybe you had a quick little intro that you want to play before the start of every screen that you have set up. Well, your studio can have that built in. Now I'm going to close out the edit screen options here. Because now that I've edited my screen, I do also have the ability to use a chat box. Now at the current moment, there's no one in the stream, but if I did need to invite other guests, I can do that by quickly clicking here and accessing a link or generating a new link or emailing individuals from here. Now, keep in mind, just like every other video platform, directly in your meeting tools, we have the option to choose and connect our audio input, our output, and choose if we want to cancel out echo, if we want stereo audio, if we want to automatically adjust microphone body, uh, volume during the stream. Now we also have video settings, very similar to our other platforms that we see where we can adjust our video input and the resolution of our video up to 1080p there. Now lucky for us, is if you don't want to go live right now, you also have the ability to schedule a meeting for later. Now at the current moment, I don't have any broadcast scheduled, but if I needed to, I can schedule them from here on the various platforms that I've had, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or those various other options that were available for us inside the settings. All we have to do is choose our platforms and choose the date and start getting the link out to everybody. Alrighty, and that's actually going to conclude it for our Melon Overview. It's a pretty lightweight video streaming platform, allowing us to quickly connect to YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. Now do keep in mind that I will be providing this PowerPoint deck just so you can have the setup checklist. And if you're interested, you have an option to join offsite. Now, Offsite's a website, it's actually a rather large community put together by LearnIt, where you can actually post any questions about various softwares you're using, any projects you're working on, or join in on any free events or office hours that the instructors are hosting. I hope to see you all there. Thank you all for watching this training. Thanks for watching. Don't forget we also offer live classes in office applications, professional development, and private training. Visit LearnIt.com for more details. 
Please remember to like and subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for choosing Learn It.